All right, Knights of Apollo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to the battlefield. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you guys are doing well. And we are going to witness another Napoleon battle. Now, this is a mod. It is called Darth Mod uh, Hardcore Realism. Essentially, the way I like to describe it is that it's in between vanilla and NTW3, where it has some um, more realistic elements, but it's not like as realistic as ntw3 so it's a happy medium which is uh pretty enjoyable if you want kind of you know faster battles and and uh and whatnot or if you want you know gameplay that's more similar to um uh you know the vanilla game now again i could be i could be wrong but uh, that's, that's at least what i take from it anyways uh we've got an interesting battlefield here uh the deployment zones are very unique and very lifelike i like that it's not just your typical this side versus this side uh we do have some um unique spots where they deploy so let me do some slow motion here because it's a lot going on so one deployment zone is right here on the map this is sweden so sweden is here on the battlefield they are fighting with i believe two prussian armies uh one uh formed right here one deployed right here and then the other one is over on this side so they had two deployment zones here one here if you're looking at my cursor now on the other side their opposing side we have uh the united kingdom they deployed exactly pretty much where they are uh next to them of course we have bavaria which they deployed right next to the united kingdom and then finally way in the back we have russia which russia is um are they yeah okay for a second i thought they were moving backwards i was like where are they going uh but yeah russia is moving forward they're very far away so this is going to be tough for the united kingdom and bavaria because they can easily get triple team here so russia needs to hurry up now there was a little bit of a cav engagement here where russia ch had like a vanguard troop and and tried to i assume slow down sweden i'm not really too sure but i'm actually kind of surprised oh we're still doing fast forward or we're doing fast forwarding there. We need to do normal speed. I'm actually kind of surprised that Bavaria is kind of moving forward. You would think that uh, Bavaria in the UK would kind of take more of a defensive stance. Um, you know, just, just to buy time for their ally to show up. Now, we do have a cab charge over here. Look at this. So, Prussian cab. They've got their hussars. Looks like they're going for some artillery. Oh, my God. Such a beautiful game. They are pushing... Look at them push, like, right behind enemy lines. Now, they do break there right at the end because the square formation. But I think mission accomplished. I think they took out, yeah, I think they took out this artillery piece here. So, that's good on them. That's going to help them out uh, later on in the battle for sure. Um, and, yeah, there's the crew. They're breaking. They're out of here. We're done. <laughs> that's it for us. Uh, but, yeah, the rest of the line is going to reform. And, if again, if I am... If I'm Prussia here with Sweden, I would get so aggressive. I mean, hyper aggression. Because I want to destroy these forces before the Russians show up. Or at the very least, weaken them severely before the Russians show up. So we'll see um, how that plays out. Again, Bavaria is pushing forward. I'm still shocked by this. And now I think we just got a charge by Sweden. We got the Upland Line Infantry. Look at this like wedge formation they're making <laughs> let's see if they can get there oh they form square now they are kind of breaking they're... let's see if they can regain their morale there as they push forward i don't know they're hanging on they're not losing any more morale but they definitely charged in alone and now we've got an intense gunfight in the tree line. We got the Royal Swedish Life Grenadiers. Oh, we did. What, what? We got a general down already? Oh, no. Russia. Russia comes out of the woodwork here. I think with another Vanguard Cav unit. That or he just rushed them forward. And now Sweden's pissed. They're like, you killed our general. Charging in uh, some hussars. To try to kill off these Russian cats. I don't think they're going to beat these guys. They need more. Oh, there we go. 
I was like, they need more than just hussars in here. And they got the lifeguards of horse. So, yeah, that's unfortunate for Sweden. Losing their general like that, it's going to be a huge loss. And it looks like they are kind of struggling against this Bavarian push. We'll see how this plays out. But Bavaria... Bavaria is now pushing up some... some um, Guard du corps. Guard, guard du corps. Anyways, um, they're pushing up some cav. And uh, they are going to try to uh, take out this infantry. This doesn't look that successful of a cav charge, honestly. And it does appear that this line infantry is going to hold. But it doesn't look good for the line infantry of Sweden throughout this fight. Look at the smoke. The chaos of the smoke. Just screening the entire battlefield. Okay, let's go to this uh, other side here. Three, two, one. So we do have a little bit of a uh, firefight going on. Really solid position from Bavaria. I kind of like the fact that he pushed up here. With just one unit, he's going to kind of hold this cliff side. And uh, the very awesome looking Bavarian line infantry are going to, uh, you know, try to hold this as long as possible. They got the high ground. Let's just see. Hopefully it's, it's helping them out. But the musketeers, the Prussian musketeers are firing back. And uh, I think it's a matter of time until they chip away at Prussia here. But again, they're playing the time game. They're just waiting, waiting for Russia. Now, of course, we know... Oh, what's going on here? Some units breaking. Ah, Bavaria breaks against the uh, Swedish line infantry. And Sweden's going to go ahead and retaliate with a charge of infantry down the tree hill. The tree slope here, the forest slope, whatever. They're going to charge in and take on this Bavarian infantry. Uh, but unfortunately, break as soon as they make impact. And the Swedish line is crumbling as we speak. Bavaria is doing an excellent job. Now, Sweden is still, still trying to deal with the uh, Russian cav here. So this fight is still going on. And what's going on here? Do we have another breaking unit? Oh, yes, we do. Bavaria breaks as some Prussian cav pursue. And it looks like Prussia is sending over a couple units of cav. Maybe potentially going to go and help out uh, Sweden. But Sweden is calling a f basically a full-on retreat here. And they're going to use this hilltop. This is pretty cool. They're going to use this hilltop to hold against Bavaria. And I'm, I'm wondering, like, Bavaria is doing such a great job of holding two fronts right now. Just a really solid job. Holding, uh, well, this unit finally broke. But nonetheless, he's still doing a great job. But this, this over here, the, the UK is, is got a lot, a lot going on. You know, they've got a tough fight ahead of them. And because Bavaria is divided in two... They're going to have a tough time trying to hold back all these Prussian troops. And we got some big cav engagements going on on this far flank. And I think, yeah, the UK has won them. It should give them access to flank around the Prussians. But the Prussians do have one more unit of cav. I don't think they're going to engage them. I think they're going to fall back and use them defensively. Because obviously this cav is heavily outnumbered by the British. Um, so we'll see how that plays out. But Prussia just needs to keep doing what they're doing. He keep hitting the UK hard and hoping that they can chip away at these forces. Now, we've got another big cav engagement over in the tree line, which, of course, the forest is going to hurt the charging of these units. But it does appear that Prussia outnumbers uh, the Bavarians. So, let's see. One, two, three, four. Four units against the two of Bavaria. Uh, and another Prussian cab unit decided to charge into a square. They might want to call them back. Honestly, I would just get this cab back and then charge behind the Bavarians over here. Uh, we see. We've got some cab in infantry from Sweden. Going for the artillery of Bavaria. This is huge. A nice aggressive play by Sweden. I like to see that. They're still in the fight. Let's go ahead and look at his hill defense here. 
Oh, yeah. Look at this. This is so cool. They're like, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. Bavaria's like, oh, yes, you are. <laughs> oh, man. Look at this charge. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Oh, that is so cool. It's like, like, angelic. What a charge by Bavaria. And it, it's work. Well, it was working. Oof. Uh, let's see if Sweden can hold here. That was kind of aggressive play, but it is working. I think I think it's because Sweden's already lost a lot of troops. They've Some of these units have already broken. Oh, nice counter charge. Good to see that. Let's see if that actually pays off for Sweden here. I don't know. It's very, oh, it does. It does. Nice. And then he's going to reinforce this side as well with an extra infantry force he has. Oh, he can turn this around. This is huge. All right, Sweden, you just got to hold here against these Bavarian line infantry. They just need to quickly break these two units. He's got Cav moving in. The Cav is going to slow down this infantry from advancing. He's got another infantry unit over here making its way. The, it's low morale, but that's okay. Yeah, he's just going to slow them down. This is all part of the process. This Cav is not going to win, obviously. It is to slow them down, and that is what's going to happen. Sweden is victorious, but you got to watch out. They're firing into the backs of their own men. Over on this side, he's got a Cav unit supporting the infantry. Sweden might just hold on to this. That was a huge huge engagement for Sweden but the Russians are on their way to well potentially clean up the job here that Bavaria did not finish so uh, you know maybe Bavaria did what they needed to do um, but over on this side the Prussians are winning this Cav engagement pretty effectively over here we have the Bavarians holding against the Prussian mass here of like musketeers who charged in uh, so very nice on them and then now Prussian infantry still charging in. Look at this. A lot of charging in this mod. This is pretty cool. But yeah, they're trying to... I think they're what they're using here is just brute force to try to beat back these forces before the Russian reinforcements arrive. Which, by the way, are there Russians? Yes, there are Russians headed towards the British front and the Bavarian front over on this side as we speak. So we'll see what happens here. I, I, maybe the British will fall back to the Russians. They are definitely falling back. At least some of their troops. So I think it's mostly because the Prussians are about to crumble the Bavarian lines. Let's go back over to the Swedish side and see how this is playing out. So sure enough, Sweden is won. But oh my goodness, what is happening? Sweden, no! So Sweden is like YOLO. He's just like, whatever! Ikea furniture, baby. Ugh. All right. So I think he, he shouldn't have done that. I think he should have just held his ground. Sure. He would have eventually have lost, um, obviously. But you want to try to take down as many enemies as possible. Like, obviously, Rush is going to win this engagement. But you want to try to kill as many as possible so when this force cleans up your army they're not as strong when they head over to the rest of the fight but this is uh this is a close battle this is a great battle um the prussians oh this is cool too i just love the sun rays coming in it just looks so good uh but the prussian musketeers are pushing forward again i'm glad to see that pressure is being hyper aggressive you got to see that because or you got to do that oh hold on we got death of the general oh my goodness wait where's the general was it this cab unit here i think the russian general was just wiped out by a very bold cab charge from the prussians now bavaria is holding this back area uh, to hold back the uh, the Prussian Silesian Guerriers, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. But yeah, the British are in full retreat. They're gonna link up with the Russians. A nice grenadier charge, but unfortunately doesn't pay off. I always love watching grenadiers charge. Uh, but yeah, the British are gonna make their stand. Huge melee over here, which does overwhelm the British lines. But the Prussians are going to regroup, reform. 
And now Russians are pushing forward. Uh, <laughs> Sweden has a random unit coming over to help out, which is cool. Over here, there we go. There we go. Sweden's holding the hill. But the Russians are flanking around. And this is actually going to be a pretty critical battle for the overall battle. This fight over here. I think if Sweden can keep these Russians busy for a good amount of time, uh, it might bring a lot of hope. And it will give, obviously, time to the Prussians to, you know, clean up some some British and Russian forces and Bavarian forces. But it doesn't look like Sweden's going to last much longer. Just too many Russians. Sweden did a great job here of, of working with what he's got. It was a cool fight to see Sweden kind of fall back to that hill. It was entertaining. Whoa! What in tarnation did we miss over here? Massive charge. Massive charge from the Russians and the British and the Jello. Yeah, really good charge here. Um, well, we'll see if it's good. This is crazy. This is like drastically different from NTW3 where charging... Charging in that game is very like risky. And in this, it looks like this is just one of the strategy, like a typical strategy. Because, yeah, Prussia's got some reinforcements back here. Oh, no, they are taking them away from this flank. But now the British are going to be able to move up and put pressure on these troops. who are trying to help out this melee. They're kind of just shooting in the mass. Even risking friendly fire. They're like, whatever. These are the Prussian foot guards. So these are, these are like the elites here. And he's going to have to fall back and reform because of this flanking British uh, two units here. They're going to cause some issues. Um, but yeah, they just... Uh, Russia and, and the British have just cut a line through the Prussians. So I think he's going to try to maneuver and link up with this other Prussian army. Because I think the Prussians over here are having a lot more success. Uh, so we have uh, Sweden as well. Uh, so, you know, one unit does add a lot. Oh, and there goes that Russian artillery. God, that's cool. Some cool sound effects there. Yeah, the Russian artillery kind of set up in this, like, hilly, woodsy area. Lucky for the Prussians as they didn't get any hits there. Uh, Bavaria is making their way over. Um, Russia is now making their way over with what they've got left. Um, it's looking... It's, it's looking like this is going to be a pretty tough fight for Prussia, but we'll see how this plays out. You never know. If they can get some good breakage here and some solid uh oh grenadiers charging in they got to try to kill as many as possible this is gonna be a tough fight for the grenadiers through the smoke they charge that is so cool so cool but I don't, yeah, I think that was kind of reckless to charge in the Grenadiers like that. I mean, these are foot guard, and they have a well-established position. They were able to fire at these Grenadiers a couple times before making contact. So I think the foot guard should be able to break them here, reform. Oh, but they're going to, no, they're not going to let up. It's like they're trying to silence these guys so they can't shoot. Let's see if the British can uh, finish the job here. And another charge, another charge from the British, the 88th foot. These are Grenadiers, though. I feel like the Grenadiers can hold against the charge pretty well. And then we got the Russian general, which maybe he's not dead. I don't know. Another big charge from the Prussians. Artillery firing potentially in, into their own men, the Russian artillery. Ooh, I don't know if these guys are getting any kills. It looks like they're just shooting at the backs of their own troops. But even Sweden is in the mix here. And Russia barely is breaking. Like, it's really impressive that they just do not want to give up. Boom. So they break. Now the troops are going to move forward here. And what a massacre this has been. Site. 
All this smoke, all this chaos. So I think um, the troops that are being pushed back are regrouping with the Russians. Again, remember, they've got an entire core, so to speak, of troops back here. And they got one, two, three, four, five units of troops. Potentially more. I could have miscounted. Let's not forget about the Bavarians, what's left of their army. They're still in the fight as well. So we'll see how this plays out. Um, the British, I, I don't know. This is this is looking to be very close, guys. The British have won a little bit in terms of charging. The, their crazy, reckless charging. But Prussia do have... Oh, this is not good. Prussia has a perfect angle on this line. Are they, like, trying to... Why are they looking the wrong way? I don't... I don't know. The player must be looking elsewhere. But now this is... I, I think Prussia might have just won it there. Oh, it's... Again, tough to tell. Uh, Bavaria is... Unfortunately, one of their units are breaking. They've got one unit kind of showing up. Honestly, I wouldn't even charge this unit in. It's kind of too late. You're kind of by yourself here. The Prussia... Yeah, very easily is going to turn his forces and deal with Bavaria. So I would have, as Bavaria, I would have just linked up with Russia. It, it really is important, guys. I mean, even if you play this game and your army's mostly out and you've got one unit, don't just throw them in in a suicide mission. Just try to hang back and see what you can do to support your teammates. You never know. You can get a good flank. Uh, you can get a good charge. Uh, you can take out artillery. Like, it, it's, it is uh, quite uh, crazy what you're able to accomplish with just one unit and you can just focus on one unit the micro obviously is going to be intense uh so it looks like prussia is reforming they got to be careful because the british and russian artillery is going to be a problem um but right now it does appear oh what's going on here oh a really wide flank here from prussia trying to get behind i wonder if there's any more units over here oh we got a down general oh the prussian general i think he got hit by a cannonball unfortunate for him because he is out of the game and that prussian leadership is gone that is not good i still think the edge is in like well i don't know i keep forgetting about this russian army over here and we're in a little bit of a uh, standstill, so I'm going to fast forward a tad bit here. Um, because what's going on is like the Russia and, and UK over here, they're just kind of holding back with their artillery until this force arrives. I think that Bavaria needs to set, or I'm sorry, Prussia needs to set up a nice line up on this hill to kind of deal with these Russians over here. The only problem is that their lines will be exposed to the artillery. So it's a tough situation, but I do think the best plan of action here is to just kind of hold your ground and just hope that artillery keeps missing. Um, that way you can kind of focus on this um, Russian force and hopefully beat them without losing too many or getting too many casualties and then, you know, quickly shifting your troops over here and dealing with this artillery. And look at this. Look at this, man. The, they took it out. They did it. This flanking... That's huge. That's, now they definitely... They're going to lose this infantry probably against this cab, the general staff. Um, maybe not. It's just a general staff. They could hold on here. They could form square or something. Yeah, and the British don't want to lose their general. So that's this unit is like MVP right now. They just, they just saved so many lives by taking out that artillery. They just got to take out one more. Now this one... Is this two pieces? Oh, this is two pieces, and they don't have anything defending it. Oh, this is... I think Prussia's got this. I think Prussia's got this, yeah. They have the advantage of the hill. Um, the Russians' army is mostly defeated, except for this side. And we've got an intense battle for this slope. Man, what a, what a sight. What a sight. And back over here, we got some random British troops. Look at the carnage of this battlefield. Just disgusting. There was a lot of fighting.
All right, the British are moving their infantry over. Yeah, he see, he's moved his general over to this side. Because now they're going to link up all their forces. But this is, this is a problem because... Oof. Did they just shoot their own guy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> they're shooting their own guys. The angle is not... See, this... This, this is just not a good artillery spot because it, it just the angle is bad now where this cab was able to move without getting shot because there's a hill in the way oh look at this big cab charge over here this is kind of risky I don't know why he's doing this I guess he's just keeping them busy while this cab goes in I assume that's the plan uh, this cab is only active, too. They're not tired, so they should be able to get in here and do some damage to this artillery. Big break here on Prussia's side. That's That was huge. Now, Russia is trying to... Oh, Russia's actually making some... Oh, Russia, Russia's doing pretty good. Uh, the Russia might win this. Um, it, it just depends. Like The rest of this Prussian infantry needs to get up here. And they need to take out this artillery, which they are going in for a charge. I think they're going to be able to do it here. This is going to be insanely close of a battle. This is a huge, huge play. Oh! Ooh! Oh! Is he going to get the cab? Yes, he does! He gets the cab. That's huge! Where's the other Prussian infantry? Oh, they're making their way, but they're they're winded. They're tired. Only one artillery piece is broken. The other one sacrificed the other crew as they shot canister shot into them. Now they're going back to normal shot as they're going to try to take out some of the Prussian units that return from routing. And now the Russians are falling down, falling back from the hill. Because they realize that there's kind of a Prussian flank pushing on them right now. But now the tables have turned... Oh, wow, look how fast this cab is. The general staff, which I believe doesn't have a general, so they're able to do this without a risk. That hill might have saved them by slowing them down and missing that shot. But there we go. That's the Russian artillery gone. These guys form square, but they don't have an angle. They're just shooting into the dirt. Very big, very big play there. Very nice. So yeah, now we're definitely at a bit of a standoff here. So I'm, what I'm going to do is just fast forward until one side uh, makes the initiative to uh, begin the attack. All right, so it looks like uh, Prussia is moving forward. So in terms of who has the advantage, it's tough to say. It is very close. I love how Sweden's still in this fight. I absolutely love it. It's got some Swedish Fusiliers. Uh, but they don't nobody has artillery and that's oh actually cancel that boom Russia has the artillery so that gives him the advantage So the reason that gives him the advantage is because he can sit back and shoot at these guys from a great distance That is why Russia has gone into this village and has kind of taken shelter behind these buildings uh, To try you know obviously to give them protection and stuff the problem is that if you go after Russia with infantry into this village, you give Russia the advantage because Russia is really good at melee and this is where they're going to excel. So I think what Prussia is going to do here in this situation is going to kind of creep forward some of his infantry like he's doing now, get some angles, start shooting at the infantry and then set up the artillery up here and then shoot at the infantry with the artillery. So it's just going to irritate Russia and, and the UK to the point where they've got to do something. They've got to make a move. Because like I said, Russia doesn't have artillery, so he doesn't have the luxury of sitting back and doing, doing whatever. I don't know why these guys are walking away from the fight. I guess maybe they're going for a building. I don't know if they're actually playing for these buildings here. I don't think they are. Maybe they are. But we'll see. Oh, and there goes Sweden. <laughs> Bye, Sweden. Uh, I mean, I love the effort, though, from the player, you know. One unit, he made that unit uh, fight hard. Fight hard. Okay, so I know this is not the most exciting here, so we're just going to keep fi uh, fast-forwarding here. It's a very delicate situation. Let's see what Russia does here. It does look like Russia is moving forward. Oh, no, he's just, like, quickly running between the buildings and taking cover. Again, he knows that he has the advantage in close combat, so 
Prussia just needs to try to get some angles here and try to defeat Russia. Now, this is the four-point location. So, if they are playing for the points, see how it says four there? This town is a four-pointer. Four so, it might be, um, in that regard, if they're playing for points, it might be best for Prussia to push forward and take this village. So, uh, we'll see how that progresses. Let's see, there goes Prussia. They're going to set up their artillery. And they've got, they just got to look for this, yep. See, that's what they got to look for. And they got like one kill there, a couple kills, and sure enough, they move. And now Russia is, okay, here we go. Russia is moving out of the village. Good to see. Oh, and then he's going back in. <laughs> it's just, oh, two sides. i oh, sorry. I thought someone was getting charged here, but no. It's just, it's just two sides just understanding that this is a very delicate situation. And they've got to be careful here. I think Prussia is doing the right thing. He's taking his time. I wouldn't use canister shot at that distance. I would just use normal shot. But um, I think what he needs to do is just like spread his troops out a little bit not too much because russia could take advantage of that and go after smaller targets uh, but just kind of spread them out create some distance get close enough to fire upon the russians and um, slowly chip away at them and hopefully eventually you can just charge in and finish them up um, but yeah they are all taking shelter here around these buildings and uh, there we go see he's kind of moving around this is going to give him some opportunity the only thing, though, is that he can get charged, and this is, yep, this is what I was afraid of. Let's see if he can, ooh, come on. Why is the morale dropping for this guy? Yep, this is bad. This is bad. This is what I was afraid of, and like I said, if you get too far away, they can chip away your army like this. Grenadiers form square. These poor men were left alone with no support. That was a huge win for Russia in the UK. They just took out two units right there. And two units may not sound like a lot, but at this stage of the game, two units is like a quarter of an army. Maybe more, like 30%, 40%. Here comes the charge of the general. Whoa! <laughs> Imagine getting hit by a horse so hard you fall back like 30 feet and ricochet off of a building. These guys are like getting up. What lads? What lads? That's awesome. And now we have more infantry going in. So Prussia's just like, screw it, we're charging. I think Russia's gonna win this. Just depends. These guys are going to shoot and try to soften these guys up a little bit. Yeah, I think Russia has this under their bag. Yep. They uh, did everything they needed to do uh, to win this. And uh, I think the biggest mistake from Prussia was, I mean, honestly, if he really wanted to win this battle, he should have just kept shooting the cannon, kept taking his time. Uh, but, you know, there is a limit. There is a time limit. And this is the four-point position. So, it does appear to be a Russian victory as the take shelter strategy has given them the edge. And now they just have to clean up the... And there goes another general. Clean up the artillery, which they do right there. And that, folks, is going to be... The battle so that was pretty cool I mean it's a very close battle so close that it came down to um, you know came down to a few troops um, now what is going on here is that I guess the Prussians have taken the two-pointer and they also have how many points is this over here it's it doesn't really say how many I guess it isn't any points not all of these are worth points so this one's two points this one's four, this one's two, and I think that's it for point buildings. But yeah, that's that's it. I think he's, he's gonna sally out his troops, so thank God for that. Uh, we can just fast forward and watch his men break. And there you have it, guys. That is the battle. Here is the results. Um, so this one is sent in by... Um, 
the Mantis. Yeah, he was the Bavarian player. Um, so he did a great job. Everybody did a pretty good job. I mean, it was so close. Um, I think Sweden struggled there a little bit. If they could get a couple more kills, they would have potentially won this battle. But you know, hindsight is twenty twenty. Um, it's it's you know easy to be a Monday morning quarterback, as they say. Um, but yeah, this is the kills for one of the armies here. You can kind of pause it and look. Uh, but yeah, that's going to wrap it up, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this mod. Uh, it is pretty fun, and I enjoyed the battle. So thank you, guys, and I'll see you next time on the battlefield.